Hello. In this session, we will create an abstract sci-fi cube using a simple Niagara system. First, join our Discord to download the necessary assets or obtain a rounded corner cube mesh and import it into your project, then create a material. Next, to set up physically based rendering, PBR on the mesh, hold down the number one on your keyboard and click to create three constant nodes. Set the values as shown in the video, then connect them to the metallic, specular, and roughness inputs of the material to create a smooth mesh. Then, create a particle color node in the Niagara system to set the color. Connect it to the base color pin of the material so that the mesh color is applied according to the color set in the Niagara system. Next, create a dynamic parameter node that can pass the parameters set in the Niagara system to the material and name one of the parameters to control the brightness of the emissive color. Then, create a multiply node and connect the particle color node and the dynamic parameter node to the multiply node to set the material's emissive color. Connect the multiply node to the emissive color pin so that the emissive color, whose brightness can be controlled by the Niagara system, is applied. Next, add a fountain emitter to create the Niagara system. Since we won't be dispersing or dropping the particles, remove the motion-related modules as shown in the video. Then, in the shape location, set the shape of the location where the particles are generated to box format. Next, remove the sprite renderer and add a mesh renderer to convert the cube mesh into particles. Set the cube mesh and the previously created material in the mesh renderer. Then, to set the size and lifespan of the particles, set the parameters in Initialize Particle. To accommodate a large number of particles, set it to GPU in the Properties and check Fixed Bounds to set the bound box. Check local space to make the emitter operate in local space. Next, increase the value in spawn rate to generate more particles. Then add scale mesh size to particle update to set the size of the mesh particles. Next, set vector from float to change all directions at once in scale mesh size. Then set the curve so that the particle size changes over time. Select Ramp Up Down Template in the curve and adjust the set. Key values slightly so that the particles gradually grow and then shrink. Next, to set the color of the particles, set Scale RGB to Linear Color in Scale Color. Then, set an array in Linear Color and set the desired colors in the array so that a random color is selected from the array for each particle. Next, add dynamic material parameters to set the values of the dynamic parameter created in the material. Then, set an array in the parameter that controls the brightness of the emissive color. Create three arrays, set one to zero, another to 0 0.1, and the last to 10, so that particles with bright emissive color, particles with just added color, and black particles with no light are randomly generated as shown in the video. Finally, add point attraction force to pull the particles to a designated location. Then, set a random range float in attraction strength so that the pulling force applied to the particles is a random value within the specified range. Increase the value of attraction radius to expand the range of particles affected by the pulling force. Check kill radius to remove the particles in the center to prevent an overflow of particles.
Now, place the Niagara system in the level and check to see if it works correctly.